Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your angel tarot and oracle card reading. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing. Please be sure when you do subscribe to pick that option ALL and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings are out here for you to view or when I go live to give out free messages in the chat line. So this is, as you know, a general reading and that means that not every single card will resonate with every single one of you or the energy they carry. So take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But you know something? All that information is posted below this video in the description box. So there you go. All right, my beautiful, beautiful souls, let's get on with your reading. Welcome Capricorn. Here is your reading for the week of August the 17th to the 20th, 2020. Okay, this looks like an interesting reading here today. Lots of good energy coming into you. You're busy doing something here crossing the board in this reading and you're planting your seeds towards a goal and endeavor something that you want to see come to fruition, fruition and fulfillment keep moving forward you're waiting to hear know that you're going to hear good news because here's the chariot commending yourself for accomplishing a great achievement and the wheel of fortune karmically turning in your favor to go towards a new beginning that it, that will bring in end of any delays and the change that offers happiness beautiful way to cross your reading so let's start off with our crowning energy your determination and due diligence pays off this means that you have been working towards a goal, some sort of event or endeavor, some passion that you've had and it's caused struggles but you didn't hesitate, you kept moving forward Capricorns because that's who you are. I call you my little achievers, you're perfectionists and when you put your head down you just go for it. So because of that you're going to see uh, you know progress, positive energy and great accomplishment coming into you. You're going to get noticed. Uh, you've done all the work and so now you're going to be noticed from others as well for what you've put out there. This is a great card of positive energy to start your reading off. Oh my gosh. Others are going to be acknowledging this achievement and this could lead you to a career advancement, improvement at your place of employment. Maybe you're moving on to a new place of employment. Maybe you're opening your own business to become your own self-employed entrepreneur. You've got the death card. Absolutely. One door closes, another door opens. You have completed and finished a phase or a situation or a relationship or something in your life. You're moving on to a brand new direction. Embrace this embrace this good energy that you're moving on to the death card I love it doors close endings happen new beginnings coming in with your first card here <clears throat> the ace of Gabrielle the ace of, of, of wands moving forward towards your success moving forward towards your goals taking the bull by the horns because you have been given a beautiful card to start a new beginning. A beautiful card that says, look, I'm out here. I'm moving forward and I want, well, I, I want my goals to come to fruition. This is a new beginning being offered to you karmically, divinely being sent to you, coming into you. Have belief in yourself and your abilities. Be passionate, be excited to move forward into a new direction. This is beginning something new, brand new. But like I tell all of you, we can't expect this to come to fruition and fulfillment if we don't set the wheels in motion. So it's not about thinking inspirationally and passionately about this. It's about getting up and acting and moving towards them. It's up to you to push for what you want and take this lead this week and show everybody you mean business like this chariot. Okay, it's time to trust your instincts and follow through on them. You've got the 
seven of rods so be careful there could be others out there that want what you have they might be uh, this is a card sometimes of being deceived by someone else maybe someone else is out there trying to steal your your thunder and your glory or you might be having to be extra careful when you go forward with this beautiful gift of you know ambitious and new beginning and this fresh start start for adventure that you make sure you do all the right moves okay be conscious of crossing your t's dotting your eyes signing any contracts or partnerships here you don't want to be looking over your shoulder and then regretting that you might have missed something or done something amiss that you shouldn't have done but this is also the card that says keep your eyes open uh, for anybody out there that might be trying to uh, you know uh, not be honest no, uh, you know they might be deceiving or, or trying to take something away from you this week but you've got this gift to move forward and as long as you think in those you know you make something happen here you're going to be fine because look what you've got you've got the seven of pentacles and this is all about planting your seeds well doing what it is you need to do and doing it in the wrong pardon me doing it in the right way articulately carefully planning something and this is going towards your endeavors going towards your goals for fulfillment and I think a lot of you it could have to do with a passion that you have either for something in the arts field or something in the career sector of your life and you're waiting to hear maybe you put out a resume a proposal an idea something new some this new event that the ace of rods sent you that you know you you want to get excited about so you're trying to send this out into the universe or to those that you want to bring into this equation into this phase into this situation you know it's a waiting period right now we're all in sort of a lockdown situation things are still moving slowly and it's 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 sort of a rotating as we go type of a of energy out there in our in our world now so know that you planted your seeds well the wait will be over don't worry endlessly because it's you know it's it's unnecessary worry you're going to hear it just takes time you know like I said planting your seeds takes time it needs all the elements to take time to grow and come to harvest but here you go judgment you've been given a second chance karmically divinely the hand has come from above and you're going to be getting a second chance to move forward this new excitement here coming into your life I love this card it's all about moving forward it's all about having this beautiful beautiful uh, energy coming into you that you have this chance this chance to move on okay it's liberating you now it's almost like you're dropping old values and you realize now that you are moving on in a new direction. We talked about that with the death card and the crowning, uh, crossing over energy here. Okay, accepting things are the way they are now and being able not to struggle and fight and resist change. Moving towards this with ambition, being happy to go in a new direction and taking those along with us that want to, that want to go on this part of our journey that recognize what we're doing okay you've got the Sun again this reading is just getting better and better and I have said to you this again is about accomplishments it could be accomplishments in anything it could be in a, in a new love relationship it could be in you know uh, in, a, in a new job in any kind of thing in your career sector in your personal and development where are you going on your journey right now what is it that you're making the changes to to do for you to bring you to your fulfillment you can expect things are going to be happier now you can expect things are going to be more fun now okay you can let go of the past doubts and fears this is beautiful you know you might be finding a fulfilling relationship that's going to begin okay and it might not just necessarily be an intimate one it could be on a soul level okay it could be on a kindred spirit level this is beautiful so communicate share this happiness throw it out into the universe think positive you've got it you've got the ten of rods and it's all because of the hard work that you've put towards something you've pushed on even when you felt that the load was too heavy to carry and you were pushing something uphill now this card I also like to tell people never try to push someone else's weight uphill never take on someone else's burdens okay but I like to see this as accomplishment for your your dogged enthusiasm for your and you know for your due diligence your willpower okay you stood in your strength and you pushed forward now should you get exhausted doing this in the process ask someone for help 
allocate some of this work to someone else. You might be taking on more than you can handle here. But know that you're illuminating your path. Know that you have the vision now to see the light. The light at the end of the tunnel because you've done the work. And as I said, you can get all the gifts coming in here towards you for fulfillment. But you have to know that when you're getting them offered and doors of opportunity are opening, you got to open them and go actively towards them to make this work for you. Don't be afraid. Stand in your strength. You've got the two in, in your center position. You've got the two of Michael, which is the two of swords. And sometimes this has to do with knock, locking horns with a total different person, someone who is, you know, uh, object, objecting to something that you both have to make a decision about. Just make it. Even if it involves compromise, get it over with because it'll work to your greater benefit here. Okay. This could be a legal situation that you're struggling with. Some of you might be uh, d going through, uh, you know, some challenges here in the, in the courts. Uh, maybe you're, you know, going back and forth uh, with a situation of disbursements of property or money or settlements or, uh, you know, anything that you're dealing with in, on this level. But know that things are going to work out in your favor. You're getting a brand new beginning. So make a decision here, make a choice here because you can't just lock horns and say, well, there's no, there's not a problem when there is. Okay. So this is about not getting bent out of shape, just making this decision. And then you wipe your hands clean of it and you walk away and you can move forward. You've got the three of, and once you do this, look, you have the three of cups. This is the card of celebration for all the work and hard efforts that you've applied to something. Okay. You're going to see, you're going to have reason to celebrate, celebrate in all your accomplishments here. You're going to want to share this with your friends and family and those that walk the same path as you. This could also refer to celebrating any occasion that you, you know, you might be involved in with friends and family. It could be an engagement, a wedding, uh, you know, a promotion, um, you know, a graduation, the birth of a child, anything, but wonderful that you can make a decision here and know that the decision you make is going to give you reason to wipe your hands clean and celebrate it. Two of Ariel, we had the two of, of Michael, the two of swords, you've got the two of pentacles. This is about balancing yourself, staying aligned and taking yourself to center. You might find yourself very busy running around doing many, many jobs. Okay. You might have taken on more than you can chew. Please know that you need to balance yourself. Write out your to-do list, write out your priority list this week and tick them off as you need to go along from the most important to the least important. Okay. So you will need balance this week throughout all of this because I see you being very, very busy, but you're going to step up and stand in your truth because this is the Knight of Swords. He could be also the Knight of, your Knight of Swords coming into you, you know, charging in on his steed to bring you his hand in attention, affection, appreciation, respect. So enjoy this, this night coming in, but I see it landing on this balance card. So if you're meeting somebody new, someone who's coming in very fast, hot and heavy, uh, that wants to spend time with you, it's exciting, but I want you to balance yourself. I want you to step back, take your breath and don't lose don't lose your balance here when this individual or this energy should come into you. Okay. The, you know, he comes charging in. He, you know, he, he is, uh, he is a force to be reckoned with and he could be someone coming in here to bring you something. Like I said, in the, in the form of appreciation, in the form of in the form of attention, affection, something like that. But I want to say, if you're dealing with any situations that have to do with signing of contracts or partnerships, anything that requires you to really uh, put yourself out there on the line, be careful. Okay, slow back, slow down, pull back on the reins. Don't go charging into something and just, you know, get your head spinning and sign on something. And it goes for this, this Knight of Swords as well. Okay. Uh, you know, it could be an, 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 an admirer, but he may want to demand, or she may want to demand this energy here, uh, too much attention. Okay. They might be thinking of themselves right now. So balance yourself when you're dealing with that kind of energy. Okay. Now, Coming in on our outcome row, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Ariel. This is all about knowing exactly where you want to go and going after it and, and staying due diligence, staying determined. Okay. But she's also the mothering, nurturing figure here. She has this ability to, to, uh, make herself feel secure because she knows what she needs to do to 
to bring well-being to herself. And you know, you've heard the old adage, physician heal thyself first, and then you can heal me, right? So we can't, we have to, we have to walk our talk. And she does this, okay? She, <clears throat> she has this ability to uh, step forward and know what it is she wants to do and she nurtures her way through something. And in return, she's able to look at the universe and those in her circle in the same way with the same energy. So she brings you beautiful, practical and wise advice that you have the capability of looking at what it is you want and making it happen. You've got the page of cups. There could be a water sign coming in, a youthful water sign coming in, male or female, to offer you something. This could be a beautiful distraction. This could be a younger suitor coming in that wants to, uh, you know, show you a good time, have some fun, uh, take your mind off of your worries. But they bring a gift. And if you look in the cup, it's the gift of a fish. Well, fish take off, don't they? They 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 they're very fleeting, and they 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 just swim away at random. And know that this could be a wonderful distraction, this energy coming into you, but it may not be long lasting. It may not be a lifetime, uh, you know, uh, a lifetime uh, here of affection and love and attention and fun here. But <clears throat> I want you to realize that you shouldn't allow others opinions to determine your happiness. So if this person looks younger, acts younger, is younger, that doesn't matter. All that matters is that they bring this beautiful, youthful energy to you. Okay, you're being offered something in love. Trust your intuition. Go with it. Enjoy this this beautiful beginning of a, perhaps a love affair. Okay, finding a way in your heart also to forgive maybe someone who is a youth, someone who is younger as well is the meaning here. That's where the nurturing comes in here the wheel of fortune and I had said to you you know you're karmically being sent a beautiful uh, wheel of fortune luck is turning changing uh, towards good luck for you this week and it's the end of any delays and the beginnings of other things know that this new beginning is something you need to embrace the wheel of fortune is always a good card in any reading and it's all about you moving forward towards your goals and seeing the energy uh, around you changing in a positive direction you've done the work here this week you deserve to have have the fulfillment come into you so step up up and receive it receive it this is absolutely a beautiful card here so you're, you're karmically being sent this we always propel our wheels moving forward we don't drive backwards so know that you're moving forward the, the delays are going to be over and you're going to be able to step into this brand new beautiful new beginning you've got the two of wands on top of that that's definitely telling you that you are moving forward you have this beautiful uh, ability now to move forward okay the two of wands says you have the world in your hand you have this ability to have the insight to look towards something that you want to achieve and you're doing it courageously you're feeling you have the whole world in your hands right now you're making your mark okay so continue moving forward you've got this energy coming into you the good luck the karmic wheel moving you towards your goals so embrace any new ideas widen your perspectives here okay the two is a number here of doubling strength or splitting power, moving forward to what it is you want. Beautiful, beautiful bull, beautiful card. So as I was saying in all of this reading, take the bull by the horns, my beautiful Capricorns. Go towards your goals. Go towards whatever this event, endeavor, this passion of yours is this week because you're getting all the cards that say you're going to see success if you continue and you're on the right path to do this. Because look at you've got when your final outcome card, the King of Ariel, the King of Pentacles, the Midas Touch card. Okay, this is the king that puts his hands to anything and he turns it to gold. He has that ability to step up and make things happen in a very, very positive, prosperous way. He's a powerful business leader. He has that ability to see, okay, when he puts his efforts into something and he invests his time and effort into this, into this goal, he's going to see financial success. He also stands for someone who may be around you that you might be bringing into your circle for advice. He could be a financial advisor and some business leader that you're going to get in touch with. All right. But you're taking on a responsible attitude now. And now you're seeing your fruits of your labor come in. 
okay he represents enterprising and and you know he has a reliable personality this individual this king of you know this king of energy king of pentacles energy here king of earth so know that you're in a very successful period of your life right now enjoy what you're doing and you know what never feel guilty for your achievements don't worry what others think what have you got here? The Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles is all about good news. Somebody coming in to bring you this information here. You know, you on top of the king, you have the page. And it all starts off with an idea here, right? This idea came in. This door opened of opportunity. And you moved on it, okay? Be smart. Take this opening of a door, okay? Set the wheels in motion here, all right? There's a window of opportunity here when this page shows up. And all you have to do is look out for it and, and, and go for it. Whether it's literally a new career or an enterprise or a chance for greater clarity within a relationship, this represents let's go and get the job done. And you're going to see that you're not going to make a mistake because this is the Midas touch card. You can't. Okay, whatever you put your, he puts his hands to, he turns to gold. So trust it. Trust this door opening and go for it. This is a great reading of using your ambition, your due diligence, and your willpower here to believe in yourself enough to move towards your goals this week. And you're going to see success come in here. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what we have here with our theme card. Letting go, letting go. Learn to let go go from the mystical wisdom deck this is what it means life is constantly changing right nothing ever stays the same people come and then they go and you know what some exit quietly without you realizing it and some go with a loud bang in the constant flow and changes of life we get stuck with unhealthy habits unhealthy relationships unrewarding jobs unrealized dreams and things like that you may have created an unhealthy attachment or bond to something or someone that no longer serves you in a positive way. You have the innate courage to acknowledge the situation and know the change is inevitable. It also brings with it newfound freedom and spiritual growth. So you know you might have been deceived here. Okay, someone might have done that to you and you moved on because you had an opportunity to do this because you did. Look, this is the death card. You've moved on from any situation and it could be that any of these parts of your life. Okay, so it gives you more freedom and spiritual growth. Your mantra today to make all of this work is I am ready to free myself from situations that no longer serve me. And by doing that, you are leaving behind things that didn't help you grow and expand and, you know, come to your, your greatest ambitions and your greatest potential. So let go of what isn't serving you, my beautiful Capricorns. Your outcome card here, your final outcome card here, is from the Wisdom Oracle deck, and you got regeneration. Regeneration. Look at that. A tree on top of a volcano. It's amazing. If you've ever been to volcanoes, you know that there are clusters of new growth, the minerals and beautiful things that come from that 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 explosion in that beautiful, beautiful mountain. And people look at the destruction. But then afterwards, they're able to plant vineyards in that beautiful soil. They're able to see new growth and flowers and things occur, rebirth. So regeneration, rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. That's what it's about, okay? There's a second chance for you available here. Take it because this is showing me that you are leaving behind some situation and you're going towards something new. The Page of Pentacles here at the end brought you in this beautiful opportunity and offer to walk through that door. Take it and go for it. Wherever you may have perceived as a failure or a loss is now being replaced, okay, by something better and more powerful, growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny, destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous, wondrous ways, okay? What happens when it appears you failed at something? Do you see the beauty in the lesson? The understanding that arises from difficulties is like a seed that lies dormant for a time. Then, once it germinates in your subconscious, it pushes through into your awareness. Okay, do not dwell on the past because you really are experiencing a rebirth at this time. This is fantastic. Keep moving forward. All of this is happening because you're making it happen. Okay, what do you need to surrender? 
Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Yeah, you know, it just it's a humongous distraction. When we over obsess about something, we keep going over and over and over the past in our mind. And sometimes it, it brings regret, it brings doubt, it brings lack of of, of confidence it stops you in your tracks it doesn't help you so you're going to get rid of what letting go of what no longer serves you so let go of your obsessive thinking here my beautiful capricorns let it go you are building a brand new beginning here a wonderful foundation your final outcome card is from the beautiful tea leaf deck ladder climbing towards success absolutely this is what your whole week is about here your whole new beginning and future coming into you okay this is about you stepping up making the changes when you are getting this offer this week for a door to open a new opportunity take it you're not going to make a mistake not when the wheel of fortune the chariot and the king of uh, the, the midas touch king shows up absolutely not new beginnings moving on doing the work of course and then you're going to have reason here to celebrate and enjoy this youthful feeling that you have again this week well my beautiful capricorns this is your reading and i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here because you're going to see things changing things happening new beginnings never forget how far you've come everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on even when you felt you couldn't, all the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, and you remember all the times you wanted to give up? Ha! You didn't. You stood up and you got through another day. Never forget how much strength you have learned and developed throughout all of these challenges that have led you to here. Remember, Always remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Again, my prayers and blessings are that you stay in continued spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical good well-being and health. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon.